What is going on everybody? Sacred Wolf here back with a brand new video for all of you to enjoy and today it is actually on the brand new mod sold by Baro Kittir. For once he brought something that I actually want or don't already have and that mod is Prime Pressure Point. I can't say that I wasn't thrilled when I saw this. It's an absolutely amazing mod. But how good is it? Is it truly worth it? Well, that's what we're going to truly find out. As you can see right here, I'm just using a Sarn Prime uh, with an Akana Prime made for crit. And I'm just testing to see with Prime Pressure Point to see how much damage it does on level 100 Corrupted Butchers. Now, as you see, it absolutely melts. But that could just be the regular Nakana Prime. So, but let's talk about this brand new mod. Right now, it is still being sold by Barakatir unranked on Larunda Relay, on one on Mercury, uh, for 300,000 credits and 365 ducats. So if you have any spare, forget the cosmetics, forget everything else, and buy like six of them. And then because the resale value is going to increase by an insane amount, it is a V polarity, the rarity is legendary, the trading tax, if you are selling or trying to buy one, it will be 1 million credits. And that's pretty steep, especially since you can get it right now. I definitely prefer to spend a couple of prime parts and 300,000 rather than a million. However, there are some drawbacks about Prime Pressure Point. Uh, first off, how much it costs. Like they said, it's going to cost a ton to trade or just to buy when a regular Pressure Point still is pretty good. Uh, the new Prime Pressure Point goes up to 165% uh, damage uh, at maximum rank, which is rank 10, while at maximum rank for a lot less cost, uh, regular pressure point, it goes up to 120%, which at low level is actually much better. This mod has less damage increase per rank than its common counterpart, making it less effective at lower ranks because of the higher capacity cost. And also, because of that kind of thing, I'm sorry, I can't talk right now, but because of that as well, it also means that Oh my god, you are just going to lose all your credits. Normally I have around 2-3 million credits, but I had to do a favor for my friend and, tr and uh, trade back his platinum. He traded me some platinum. If you haven't seen that video, go check out Jim the Third's got scammed 4300 platinum by the game. And uh, I was holding on to that platinum for about two weeks. And it was pretty funny while he was trying to get enough credits. Uh, but uh, that's for another story, but this mod at low level is not worth it. If you only have a few cores, definitely just stick with the common counterpart until you can truly rank it up to max or else it's truly not worth it. Or you're going to be spending, you're going to be spending everything you have trying to get it even half a rank. And as you see, mine's only rank 9. I didn't have enough cores and I ran out of money almost. I had like 300,000 left. And for me, that's terrible. For most people, that's awful. So I feel completely naked. I have no money, I have no cores, and I need to go farming for both. And I don't want to do that. But so, bottom line is, how much more damage does it do? Uh, a pretty decent amount. And the only way you're going to really be able to tell is at high, high, high tier levels. But at that point, you may just want to just use a long-range weapon because if you, that you even get touched by one of their bullets or if they may, you can probably go down. So is this mod worth it in the long run? Perhaps, but most definitely buy it because first off, it's awesome. Second of all, it's, it just melts. But third, just resell if anything else if you don't want it or anything. I mean, you're going to make a ton off of this, just like you did when Prime Continuity and Prime Flow had just come out. You could sell those suckers for like 1,000 Platinum and things, and I fail to see why this mod won't be the same rarity. Sure, it's recent now. Wait a couple of months when it hasn't been around for a long-ass time, and then everybody will want to buy it. Maybe some brand new Wicked Melee weapon is going to come out, and everybody's going to want it. I love this mod already, it's rank 9, I can see a huge difference against high level enemies, but maybe that's just me, but definitely buy it, I think it's 100% worth it, 
and thanks for all of you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you liked this video, and if you didn't, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below saying what I did wrong, and I'll do my best to address your concerns, or just leave a thumbs down if you're a scrub. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys later in a brand new video.